Welcome to the Darwin High School Year 10 Subject Selection Presentation. English has four offerings. English Literacy, English, English as an Additional Language, and SOP English. English Literacy is a course designed with an emphasis on communication, comprehension, and text creation. English is a course that will give you an excellent overview of English with an emphasis on creating texts, responding to texts, and enable you to critically and creatively engage with a wide variety of text types. English as an additional language is a course designed to develop and improve general proficiency in the English language. This course can lead to all other English courses, including English as an additional language. Students of High Performance English. This is an extension course designed for high performing English students. If you're interested in SOP English, please see the Darwin High School website for more information. Mathematics have a range of offerings to cater for students' different capabilities in maths. It is important that you pause the video at this point to consider each of the math levels and which one is most relevant and appropriate for you. You may need to consult your teacher for more assistance. Science offers General Science, Girls Science, EAL Science, Centre for Excellent Science and Nutrition. Science is a course that prepares students to study any of the core science subjects in Stage 1 and Stage 2. Girls Science is an extension course available to girls who are in Level 1 Mathematics. EAL Science is a course that is a supported science class for students with English as their second language. And Centre for Excellence or C4E Science is an extension course designed for high performing science students. If you're interested in C4E Science, please see the Darwin High School website for more information. Nutrition is a subject for students who have an interest in the science of nutrition, physiology and health. This course also investigates dietary, lifestyle and healthy eating patterns. Performing arts have four options, dance, drama, extension music and foundation music. Dance is a course that fosters the development of dance creativity through technique, composition, choreography, performance and critical analysis. Stage 1 Dance and Creative Arts Dance are also available for students with a strong dance background. Drama is a course that develops a range of skills and knowledge through characterisation, improvisation and performance. Foundation Music is a course designed to support students who wish to begin learning an instrument and develop musical literacy. Extension Music is designed for students who have a music background, allowing them to continue to develop their existing practical and literacy skills. Visual Arts have five offerings. Art Practical, where you explore traditional art skills through investigating and experimenting with a range of skill-based learning. Design, Using the design process, students develop technical skills and creative skills to showcase their design concepts and artwork. Introduction to Film Production engages students with analysis, creation and development of media arts. This course develops technical and production skills. In Photography, students are introduced to digital capture and technical skills associated with manual camera control and composition. Ceramics is a hands-on course where students are introduced to the foundation of ceramic building techniques through wheel throwing and hand building clay pots, vessels and sculptural forms. Home Economics has two offerings, Food for Life and Stylish Food. Food for Life is a course for students to engage in basic food preparation techniques and gain skills to assist them in making wise food choices suiting independent needs. Stylish Food is a subject that focuses on cookery skill development and food presentation. The Centre for Skills and Training is a specialised program to support students to complete their NTCET whilst they are enrolled in VET or an SBAT. 
There is strict eligibility criteria and you should pause the video at this point if this is of interest to you. Physical education offers three subjects, health and wellbeing, physical education, and stage one integrated learning physical education. Health and wellbeing is a course that focuses on a range of activities, including invasion games, long life physical activities, and net sports. The health strand of this course focuses on the health benefits of physical activity, the role of food and nutrition, and developing positive mental health skills and health literacy skills. In physical education and physical education girls only, students focus on the physiology related to fitness, training principles and methods, and the cardiorespiratory system. Stage 1 Integrated Learning Physical Education has two options available, Sport and Rec and Net Sports. Stop the video here to read the difference between the two courses. Stage 1 Outdoor Education is a course for students who have an interest in rock climbing, mountain biking and hiking in remote locations of the Northern Territory. Students build real world skills and knowledge in survival, safety, planning and management, teamwork, cooperation, strength and leadership. In addition to the compulsory semester of Year 10 History, Humanities offers the following subjects. Aboriginal Studies. You will learn about Australian Indigenous cultures, history, organisations and communities. Geography. Geography is for students who have an interest in the natural world and the human impact on this world. Legal studies will help you understand not only Australia's law and legal system, but also its government processes and customs. And media studies. Choose this subject if you want to study and learn about the various mediums of information delivery and communication, from cinema studies to television discourses, the internet, print journalism and more. Lot Business and IT offer six languages. Chinese, Japanese, Indonesian and Modern Greek at both beginner and continuer level and Italian and Spanish at beginner level. Please pause the video at this point to see the eligibility criteria for the different levels of languages. Business has one offering in semester one, commerce. Commerce encourages students to learn the financial literacy of managing money and develop personal competence in the ability to responsibly participate in our changing commercial environment. Information technology offers six options across Year 11 and Stage 1 levels. Computer app development is a course for students with little or no programming ability to work individually and collaboratively to create applications for phone and tablet. Computing is for students to work with a range of computer applications that are used in other computing subjects, thus allowing this to be a taste of these subjects. Robotics and electronics is a subject that provides opportunities to develop design thinking, to investigate engineering solutions and to develop a plan, realise the plan and evaluate the outcome at a fundamental level, preparing students for further study. Stage 1 Digital Technologies is available in two parts. Part 1 where students create role playing games through coding in Construct 3 and Part 2 where students learn text based coding with Python and create solutions to real world problems of interest. Stage 1 Information Processing and Publishing Computer Applications is a course for students to follow the design process to create print publications in Adobe InDesign and Photoshop. Stage 1 Digital Communication Solutions Architectural Design is a course for students to follow the design process to create building designs using Revit 2024. Students are involved in designing real world solutions for houses, cafes, childcare centres and schools. Tech Studies has two offerings, woodwork and metalwork. In both metalwork and woodwork, students are challenged to use the design process to create projects to solve technical problems. The information contained in this subject selection presentation 
is a brief overview of the subjects available. For more information, please consult the Curriculum Handbook or make contact with the Faculty Senior of the area.